Hello everybody, welcome to Experience Jesus with AVJ, Apostle Victor James. I'm excited and I give thanks to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus for another opportunity he has given to us, for us to be able to fellowship together and break the bread of life together. And you and I know that this bread of life we break regularly is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Therefore, the Bible said very clearly in 1 John in chapter 1, he said our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son. And Jesus speaking in John chapter 4, he said God is his spirit. And he seeks for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. And after the death, the burial and resurrection of Jesus from the dead, Paul came speaking by the Holy Ghost. In Philippians chapter 3, in verse 3, Paul said, We born again Christians are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit and put no confidence at all in the flesh. What, does, what the, all of that means is that we are the fulfillment of the Father's desire to have spirit worshipers praise god amen <clears throat> all right before we hit the ground running remember my book uh, if you haven't gotten it you need to get this book it will be a great blessing to you how jesus did it amen and then second announcement please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please go to youtube and type apostle victor james and press the subscription button we have loads of teachings on YouTube that will be a blessing to you and your loved ones and your friends. You know, please, I'll be so glad to know that you have gone to press that subscription button. It will encourage my heart so much. Amen. All right. Let me welcome you again. Welcome to Experience Jesus with AVJ, Apostle Victor James. Now, Today is the first Sunday of this beautiful new year that we have entered into. And uh, today is the, uh, the second, you know, today is the second of January. The second Sunday of a brown, beautiful, glorious new year that the Lord has made for you and I. All right. But um, there is something very special in my heart a message that i'll need to pass out you know to everybody you know and uh, i'm really so excited about it praise god amen uh, <clears throat> you, you know in the body of christ you know just like you have organizations you know groups so also it is in the body of christ in the body of christ uh, um, there are those um, that we should, I, I think specifically, you know, in the body of Christ, there are those that I think that we should thank, give thanks to, and encourage for their tireless, uh, uh, tireless efforts, you know, in supporting the work of the gospel, you know, in helping to advance the cause of the kingdom of God. There are those among us in the body of Christ, you know, that should specially be thanked, be encouraged, you know, be, um, what's that word I'm looking for again? You know, that, that should be acknowledged, you know. They should be acknowledged among us, you know. The Bible said that, you know, because I know that a lot of people now wonder, how can you be thanking somebody, you know, uh, you know, these extremists, see, these people that are born again Christians are, that are extremists, you know, I'm sure they will kick against that now. No, 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 AVJ, Apostle James, Apostle Victor James, you shouldn't thank anybody. Uh, all the thanks, you should go to God, you know. It's only God that we should thank. No, no. The Bible, they didn't teach that. The Bible, they didn't teach that. There are some people that the Bible encourages that we should acknowledge. We should appreciate. We should appreciate them. and We should celebrate them, more or less, you know you know, for their contribution and effort in seeing that the work of the ministry is not hindered and that the gospel of Jesus Christ keep going forth. So I, I, I felt very strong in my spirit that that is what I should do today in the, on this broadcast as the first Sunday in a new year, in this new year, you know, um, but I got to read this to you so, so as to 
help the minds of those who will think, oh, no, no, we're not supposed to do that. It's just all, uh, you know, it's only God we should thank. We should just thank the Lord Jesus. No, no, no. The Bible is in support of that. You know, as a matter of fact, Paul told the church at Corinth, he said, acknowledge such. You should acknowledge such people who give themselves, who are addicted to the work of the ministry, who are addicted to sponsoring, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the gospel of Christ. Now, I, I, let me even read to you. Um, in, in Romans chapter 16, verse 3. The book of Romans chapter 16, verse 3. Because this is very important. We have to have scriptural basis for whatever we do. That way, um, we can clear all doubts. You know, and then establish this thing upon the truth of God's word. You know. Alright, so watch this. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. <clears throat> the Bible said in Romans chapter 16, verse 3, it says, Greet, this is Paul talking. This is Paul talking. He said, Greet Priscilla and Aquilia, my helpers in Christ Jesus. So, specifically, among all other Christians, among all other believers, you know, Paul specifically identified and mentioned Priscilla and Aquilia. And these two people are husband and wife. They are couple. They are husband and wife. You know, Paul said, they are my helpers in Christ Jesus. So you see, it's not that there are, not, there are no other Christians there. There are other Christians. But he said specifically, this husband and wife, are my helpers in Christ Jesus. When it comes to Christianity, when it comes to Jesus Christ and the ministry he has given to me, when it comes to the gospel and advancing the kingdom of God, Priscilla and Aquila are my helpers. You see, they are not called. Priscilla and Aquila are not called to carry the gospel and, you know, about. But, they have a ministry to help the one that God has called to carry the gospel about. Are you seeing what I'm saying? So, the same thing. So, Paul said, look, among everybody, help me greet. Help me salute. Help me appreciate. Help me encourage Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers. The specifically, Paul said they were his helpers. So there are some people that we should acknowledge in the church. You know, as a man of God, as a pastor, you should be able to acknowledge some people in your congregation. You know, sometimes they are very quiet people. You know, they don't want to be known. They don't want their names to be mentioned. But such people should be acknowledged, even without mentioning their name. But Paul was so encouraged and bold. He mentioned the name of these two people. Priscilla and Aquilia. He said, help me greet them. Help me salute them. Why? The question is why. In verse 4, put GNT translation of verse 4. Watch this. Apart from the fact that they are just Paul's helpers. In verse 4, look at what Paul said. Or, or look at the kind of help. The, the extent... <clears throat> Of the kind of help this husband and wife provided for Apostle Paul in verse 4. Look at what it says. Let me use this thing my son made for me. He said, they risk their lives for me. Are you seeing that? Now, you will think that, oh, no, no, no. no. You don't risk your life for a man of God. Don't risk your life for a man of God. Risk your life for Jesus. Now, where do you find Jesus? Where, where can you find Jesus physically sitting? standing or talking preaching right now that you should risk your life for him are you seeing that this husband and wife understood that whatever they do to paul or for paul the servant of the lord jesus christ they are doing for jesus 
Because that's what the Bible teaches. I'm going to get to that part very soon. Paul said, this my helpers. They risk their lives for me. And I'm grateful to them. Are you seeing that? Not only I, but all the Gentile churches as well. So Paul and every church Paul went, he kept telling them about this husband and wife. He said, look, every, everywhere Paul went to preach, when he finished preaching, he would tell them, look, there's this husband and wife that are taking care of me, that are risking everything to help me. You know? And their names, their names are Priscilla and Aquilia. These two people do everything. They go to any length to help me. You see, so Paul had, you know, uh, look, what a testimony. And right now, both Paul and this husband and wife are no more because their generation is past. Can you imagine how Jesus would have welcomed those two people? Can you imagine how Jesus would have said to them, well done, thank you, enter into the joy of your Lord. There are, there are some husband and wife, they will fight each other. The wife will either fight the man to the last, not to support or to help the man of God. I know that there are a lot of fake ministers out there, fake prophets, fake pastors, fake bishops, fake apostles, you know. But that should not discourage you from genuine ministers who are called of God, who bring the teachings, the sound doctrine and teachings of Jesus Christ to the body of Christ all over the world. And by the grace of God, I am one of them. I am one of those genuine ministers called and ordained by the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, for the sake of teaching Jesus to my generation, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, helping my generation to come to the knowledge of Jesus and to live in the freedom that Jesus came to purchase for us by his death, burial, and resurrection. Glory be to God. Paul said, help me greet them. That's what he said. He said, I'm grateful. Because of Priscilla and Aquila. I'm so grateful. Ah, That means every day Paul wakes up and he remembers that he has these two people. His heart is encouraged. He's, he's ready to step forward. He's ready to go further. Because he knows that there are people with him or behind him, apart from the, the Lord Jesus Christ, that are fit. Jesus, Jesus is still with him in the person of these two people, this husband and wife. Wow. So, if you want to serve the Lord Jesus, you cannot serve Jesus in the absence of serving the one that Jesus has called and sent. It's not possible. I mean, this husband and wife risk, look at it now. Paul said they were his helpers. He said, but most importantly, they risked their lives for me. Ah, when I saw it, I said, oh God, what kind of a husband and wife are these? The wife supporting the husband to support Paul. The husband supporting the wife to support Paul. The two of them made up their mind. No, 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 it's not normal. God has to be involved. It is God. These people are to be envied. Priscilla and Aquila should be envied. We need many of them in the church today. We need them. They are needed desperately in the church of God today. Whoa! Bagada yada. Ezukra do gata. Ezengre te kusata baya. De yada. Engro do. There are other people in the church. There were, there were other people around Paul. There were other people in different churches where Paul has been to. To preach the gospel. But specifically, he singled out Priscilla and Aquilia. This husband and wife. Paul singled them out. Ah! You know some people get angry in the church. Eh? It's only people who are, who are giving money. They made to sit down in front. They, they give them front row seats. You know, they start getting angry. Eh? It's only people who give money in church that, that sees pastor quickly. <laughs> when I hear such things, I laugh. I laugh. I laugh. Even God acknowledges such people. Now, if, even if you don't have cash to give, do you have your time to give? Do you have your energy, your support to give? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Not just that. In Romans chapter 16 as well, 
GND, this GND translation, verse 9. Romans chapter 16, verse 9. Watch this. Look at what Paul said. Paul again acknowledged somebody and asked the list specifically. Look at it. He said, Greetings. <clears throat> um, maybe you should put King James for me. You know, I, I, I want to I want to show everybody something first. You know. Woo! He said, salute Oban. Oban. Our helper in Christ. But look, everyone who stood financially, emotionally, spiritually, and physically with Paul, he regularly mentioned them and asked the people to help him salute them, acknowledge them, thank them. The bottom line is, help me thank them. Because without these people yielding themselves to Jesus to use them, I don't know if I would have gone far like this. I don't know if I would have gone far. I don't know if I would have been able to do the kind of exploit I'm doing in ministry. You know, some, some people say, if it is God that sent you, he will take care of you. God will take care of you, a man of God, through men. Are you seeing that? That's one thing we should never forget. It's true that God will take care of God will take care of the man of God, but He does that through men. So uh, um, you can't say you are serving the Lord Jesus if actually you are not of any use, any significant importance, important to the man, to the servant of God, to the one that Jesus has called. You, you know, there's a scripture. Uh, you know, Jesus said in the book of Matthew, He said, "He that receives you, receives me." I think it's in Matthew um, chapter 10, verse 40. No, sorry, John chapter 10, verse 40. You know, I'm not too sure. You know, let's check John chapter 10, verse 40. Whether I'm right. That's what Jesus said. Anybody who receives you, the person receives me. And anyone who receives me, receives the Father that sent me. Put, put John chapter 10, verse 40. Let's see whether it is. Or, or, or Matthew. Chapter 10, verse 40. You know, one of them. There, but you know, I didn't plan to. You know, I can't remember the actual, uh, actual uh, chapter and verse now, but hopefully. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He that received, he that received, put NIV translation, you know, of this verse. You know, very important. You see, so what uh, Priscilla and Aquilia were doing to Paul, to support Paul, to encourage Paul. They risked their lives for him. Ah! They were doing it without knowing for the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, if you, do, if you did it for me, you are doing it for the Father that sent me. Look at it. That's what he said. Very important. Look at it. That's what he said. He who receives you. Jesus was talking to his disciples. He said, anybody who receives this, my servants, this, my messengers, this my disciples. Anybody who receives them. Jesus said that person receives me. Look at it. He who receives you, my disciples. The person receives me. And he who receives me, Jesus Christ, receives the one who sent me. So you cannot tell me, a man, a person cannot tell me, well, I'm serving God. I'm doing, ah, me, I'm, I'm doing service for God. And the one God sent, you are not in any way Supporting such person. No, you're not doing anything for Jesus Christ. You're not serving Jesus at all. You're just serving yourself. You, you know? That's why you see that a lot of wives, ministers' wives, you know, they, 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 are, they think that they, they find it difficult to serve their husband, not just as their husband, but as also the servant of God, the man of God, you know, the messenger of God. You know, so the church members come and get blessed because that part of him as a man of God, he ministers it to the congregation. But the wife is not benefiting from it. You know why? She is not seeing him as a man of God. She is seeing him as a husband. So because she knows his weaknesses, his flaws, his mistakes, because they live together in the same house, she sees his nakedness. She knows how he snores. She knows how he easily gets angry. She knows how he destroys things. And also because of that, the devil uses that to becloud the wife, the wife of the man of God, the wife of the servant of God. And she will now 
The devil will now use that to shut her out of the blessing of the man of God. Jesus said, he that received a prophet, in the name of the fact that he's a prophet, will receive the prophet's reward. He didn't say God's reward, the prophet's reward. There's a reward that goes with a man for being a man of God. Are you seeing that? So anybody who receives the man and relates to him well, accordingly, that reward that he carries from God, the person will enjoy it. It will be administered to the person. Are you seeing what I'm saying? So on this episode, on this episode of our broadcast, I really want to acknowledge and thank the men and women all over the world who stood with me apostle victor james who stood with me apostle victor james you know throughout 2001 i remember when we were going to buy our camera you know i came on here and i announced i did ask that i needed people to help me you know with money so that we can buy the camera some of you rose and then took up the challenge and we bought the camera and then I remember there was a time we were having generator issue because the power, the light kept going on every time I'm doing recording in 2001. And then it got to a point, I, I, you know, I felt very strongly impressed on my heart to ask everybody to give for us to buy generator, you know. You know and then everybody, you know, got involved, you know. You know, you, you know yourselves, you know yourselves. You know, I don't want to mention names. You know, for security purposes, you know, the generation we live now, we can't mention them the way Paul mentioned the name of uh, this husband and wife, Priscilla and Aquilia. <laughs> but I've mentioned your name to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I've asked that the Lord Jesus will remember it for good for you. And then I remember uh, uh, this same 2021 that is past now. I did ask that I needed money for people. I needed people to, you know, uh, stand with me financially if it was just $50 every month or $100 every month and, and then some of you took up the challenge and you still did it you know some of you were always sending us money give, sending offering after every broadcast you know some of you were sending naira and in dollars you know you know just to advance the course of this ministry this work you know, it's not that some of you have uh, too much money. You had bills to take care of. You had needs to meet. Yet, you were still able to take out of that little to send to us for the work of the ministry. You know, may the Lord remember it for you on that day. On that day when we meet him for judgment. On that day when we meet him for uh, our reward. May the Lord remember your good works, your good deeds for his name's sake that you have demonstrated, that you have done for the sake of his name. May the Lord remember it for you in the name of Jesus. So, so the, I dedicate this broadcast to all of you, you know, who are not just who, who, being blessed by the teachings and the messages I bring every time, but specifically, you decided to go the extra mile, to take out of the little you have, you know, to share with me for the sake of the work, so that this teaching and preaching don't stop. You know, may the Lord bless you. You know, remember, this our generation too will pass. One day you and I will be gone. The way Paul and Priscilla and Aquilia and every other person who stood with Paul, the way all of them have gone, you and I too will be gone. But I pray as a man of God. I pray as an apostle of Jesus Christ. I pray as the one who is sent to preach Jesus and reveal Jesus to this generation. You know, I pray that on that day, the Lord will remember it for you. Remember, the Bible said in Hebrews 6, it said God is not unjust. To forget, it's not unrighteous. To forget your labor of love. He won't forget it. He will remember it for you. And there is an inheritance that is waiting, awaiting you and I. You know, let me tell you, even me, myself, sometimes I don't feel like coming to do broadcast. I don't feel like coming to teach. You know, I don't feel it. I have to drag myself. Do you know how many times I have to force my body to come and sit down here to do these teachings. Do you, do you understand that? You know, that's, the, that's why it is called a sacrifice. And the sacrifice is unto the Lord. And then the testimonies are here from all over the world, from America, from Canada, from Australia. Do you know even from some Arab countries, you know, some Islamic countries, they are sending me a message on WhatsApp that 
my teaching brought them to Jesus Christ. Look, these are the things that is encouraging and keeping me going. Did you understand what I'm saying? You know, from Europe, from Austria, from Germany, from Holland, you know, from Denmark, from London, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Ghana, from all over. Look, it's, I'm, I'm amazed. From Jamaica, from Barbados, you know, from Peru, you know, Argentina. I'm amazed that this teaching is going all over the world and impacting lives. Are you seeing what I'm saying? So, these are the things that keeps keeping me going. And your offering, your giving, you know, your offering that you send to us, your giving, they are such an amazing encouragement. Don't listen to what the world is saying. Oh, don't give your money. You are giving your money to the man of God. You are giving your money to church. Don't, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. You know, the Bible calls riches money, deceitfulness. Riches can be deceitful. You know, so don't follow the deceitfulness of riches. You know, that you should just concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on your family. Concentrate on your, what you want, what you need, the things you want to get. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's very important. Remember that Jesus said it is more blessed to give than to receive. And we will still get to that part. Praise God. You know, so this is to acknowledge every one of you. So I am saluting you and I am greeting you. I'm even asking that the Lord Jesus himself will salute you for me, will greet you for me, will encourage you for me, will make the things that you are asking of him this new year, 2022, happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some of you have taken all kinds of financial risk, you know, to be a blessing to us, you know, in this ministry, you know, to send us offering, you know. Some of you, every month, throughout 2021, you were always there. Every month. Non-stop. You know, some of you were sending us your tithe, your offering, you know, your seed faith, you know, whatever you want to call it. You were sending it regularly, every month. And, and I want to tell you, I want to acknowledge all of you. I want you to know that those financial help you gave me meant a lot to us. They helped us. Helped us. I'm telling you, you know, in our every broadcast, do you know how much we spend to burn diesel for the broadcast? We had to burn diesel because we use generator to power everything we use, everything we are doing in the studio. You know, so if you were not helping us, how would we have gotten the generator? If we were not helping us, how would we have gotten the, uh, 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 the camera? If you were not helping us, how would we have gotten the money to pay the men and women behind the scene, behind the camera that are helping doing their services? You know, remember. This is how you serve the Lord Jesus. This is how you serve the Lord Jesus. It's very important for you to know. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 24, NLT translation. Colossians chapter 3, verse 24. Watch this. Colossians chapter 3, verse 24. The Bible says, please put, and look at it. This is very important. It said, remember, that means call to active consciousness. That's what he's saying. That the Lord will give you an inheritance. Why will he give it to you? He will give it to you as a reward. He will give it to you as a reward. And that the master, and that the master you are serving, and that the master you are serving in Christ, is Christ. The master you are serving is Christ. You see, what you are doing, you may not understand it now. But when we meet with Jesus, you will understand it clearly. He said, what you are doing is that you are serving Jesus with your love gifts, with your offering, with your financial support. Do you know, even Jesus himself required financial support while he was on earth. Jesus required it. There were women that brought themselves together, bound themselves together, and made the, the promise themselves they didn't tell Jesus. They just decided of their own accord to take from their resources to regularly send money to Jesus to take care of himself and his disciples. This is the same Jesus that told Peter to go and to, 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 this, uh, to, the, to the sea and then the fish will come out. There's a coin in the mouth of the fish. The same Jesus. 
were, was sponsored. Sponsored by women. His ministry. They stood with his ministry and sponsored Jesus and his disciples. That's why Judas Iscariot was the one who was their treasurer. He was the one who carried the bag of money. Are you seeing him? Because there were people who were sponsoring Jesus Christ and his disciples. Thank you. I want to thank you for your love, for your gifts, for your support. Thank you. Because you have encouraged me. You know, every time I pray and I talk to God and I talk to the Lord Jesus, I keep telling him, I said, these men and women all over the world who have been sending me financial support, they have encouraged me. Remember it for them, for their families, for their husband, their wife, their children. Remember it for their household. Remember it concerning their request. Remember it concerning what they are asking you for. That's what I keep telling the Lord Jesus all the time. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Because he sent me what I'm doing. I am called of God. I, look, I, I do not hes hesitate to say that. I am a man of God. I am an apostle of Jesus Christ. And if you notice in my teaching, I hardly talk about myself. Because that's not what I am sent for. I am sent with the knowledge of the word of God. To teach and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And everyone, and the Lord told me. He told me himself. He said, I will send you helpers. I will send you men and women who will take care of you. Who will stand with you. And that's what you are doing. So I want to thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for 2021. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for every time you have given. Thank you. You know yourselves. Those of you I'm talking to, you know yourselves. You know, like I said, for security's sake, I don't want to mention names. But you know yourself. You know yourself where you are all over the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. I've asked the Lord Jesus to thank you on my behalf. To thank you for me. That the Father himself will thank you for me. In the name of Jesus. That the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of life himself, will thank you for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love and support. This means a lot to me. Now, he said, remember. That's what he said. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance. Why? He said, as your reward. Because you are serving Jesus Christ himself. It is the master you are serving by sending your offering, giving, by all the givings you are doing. It is the master himself that you are serving. Amen. So, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, put Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, GNT translation. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. He now says, because now that this truth has come forth, I got to say this to every one of you. And that, that's the scripture. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Put, uh, okay, just leave it. It's all right. This one too is good. He said, so let, let's not get tired of doing what is good. Don't get tired. We shouldn't stop. We are in a new year now. This gospel has to continue. It, the gospel has to continue. I have to still keep preaching. Put GNT translation of it. You know, it's, it's important. Look at what it says. So let us not become tired of doing good. Don't let us stop. Don't say because you, oh, I supported Apostle Victor James. AVJ. I supported AVJ in 2001. This is I mean, 2021. This is 2022 now. I don't think I can do that again. No, no, don't do that. The Bible said, let us not get tired. King James said, let us not be weary. Don't get tired. We've just started. It's a journey. And by faith, we're going to go through this thing. We're going to do it for Jesus. I'm telling you, we're going to serve with all our lives. Risk everything for the gospel to go for. For every soul we are able to reach, there is a reward with Jesus Christ. For every soul. Just one soul. One soul alone. There is a reward. So I need you to become selfless this year. Become selfless. No, no, no. Go beyond yourself. Let's put Jesus first. And the kingdom of God. Put Jesus first. Let's put the gospel first. Let's help to push the gospel of Jesus Christ all over the world. Do whatever you can. 
Don't, don't be tired. Don't stop. This is not the time to stop. Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming soon. If these messages that I am preaching and teaching has been a blessing to you, one form or the other, you too, you should help me to reach more people, to bless others, to send this message also to others. You know, somebody sent me a, a testimony. He said he was so hooked, you know, on pornography. He, he said he has done everything. He said he's a pastor. He has done everything. He's not able to free himself. He said he did fasting. He did uh, 21 days fasting. He said he has done uh, 17 days fasting. He said he has gone to mountain to go and pray. He has made, you know, he's done all kinds of things. He said, but he just cannot free himself from pornography. He said, that, but finally, somebody told him about me and my, my teaching. And then he went to YouTube. He said he listened to one of my teachings. He couldn't believe it. It means that Jesus is like this. Jesus is this good. He said he got hooked. He's been listening to my teachings. He said, hey, VJ, he sent me testimony on my WhatsApp. He said, hey, VJ, do you know for six months, I have not watched pornography. He said, I didn't know when the thing just left me. Oh, such testimony. The reward is not just for me. It's for you and I. You know, it's for me who is doing the teaching and you who is doing the financial support. So the two of us have reward with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, uh, somebody has told me about another kind of challenge that they had. You know, I, I, I've been having all kinds of testimonies, things. You know, somebody told me of the kind of hypertension that almost killed the person, you know, because of worry. You know, because the church the person is going, they kept telling them, it is because of what you have not done. You have not done this. That's why God has not done that. You have not uh, done a dangerous move. You have not woken up 12 midnight to pray a dangerous prayer. That's why God has not answered you yet. yet. He said somebody told him about my teaching. He listened to it. He discovered that Jesus has done everything for us. All he just needed was to believe and to depend, re relax, rest in the finished work of Jesus. He said now, Jesus has healed him from my potential. His blood pressure is normal. Oh, such testimonies make me glad, make me happy. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Do, do, so don't be tired. Don't let us get tired of doing good. That's what he says. Let us not become tired of doing good. For if we do not give up, the time will come when we will reap the harvest. The time of reckoning is coming. The time of reward is coming. Are you seeing that? Because we all cannot be preaching like this. We all cannot be doing recording like this. And do you know, we do this recording, I do this teaching three times every week. Three times every week. Sunday, 10 a.m. GMT plus one. Tuesdays, um, 10 a.m. GMT plus one. And Thursdays, 10 p.m. GNT plus one. Three times a week. And that's in four weeks of a month. So that's 12 times in a month. And then calculate that by a year. I mean, it's not a joke. You have to be inspired by the Holy Ghost to always have fresh teachings in such things, in such case, in, in, in a case like this. And I thank God our teachings are always fresh. Fresh from heaven. Fresh from the Holy Spirit. We don't take credit from it, or for it. We give all the glory to the Lord Jesus. Because it is by the help of the Holy Ghost that we have these teachings. That are opening the eyes of people. Delivering people from religious spirit. You know what I mean. So, we all have different gifts. You know. My own gift is to teach. And to preach. Yours is to give. Support financially. The Bible said in Romans chapter 12, in King James Version, um, in Romans uh, uh, 12, verse 6 to 8. Let me read this to you. Uh, maybe NIV translation. Use it. Let's use NIV. Romans chapter 12, verse 6 to 8. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at what it says. Put Romans chapter 12. Thank you, precious Father. Verses 6 to 8. Woo! Let me rush through this. He said we have different gifts. We all have different gifts. The different ability. You see, the grace is the same. God gave us the same grace. 
Because the grace of God is Christ Jesus. is given to us. Are you seeing that? By the Holy Ghost now. Praise God. But the function of, the, of that grace is what we refer to as gifts. The function of that grace. The workings of that grace. Different abilities. So the grace of God provides different abilities for every one of us as God wills for us. So the Bible said <clears throat> we have we have different gifts according to the grace given to us. <clears throat> if a man's gift is prophesying, he said, let him use it in the proportion of his faith. Next verse. Verse 7. Watch verse 7. Watch verse 7. Verse 7 says, if a person's gift is serving, let him serve. If a person's gift is teaching, let him teach. You see, so that's my calling, to teach and to preach. That's what I'm called for. To teach and to preach the truth. Undiluted word of God. I don't preach politically corrected messages. No. I have no time to impress any man. No. I'm a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ. I'm not a servant and apostle of a man. I'm a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ. So my teaching is as the Lord gives to me to teach. Are you seeing that? Then verse 8 says, watch verse 8. This is very important. Watch verse 8. He said, if it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him keep contributing. This is the part where I'm going. Let him give generously. So there are some people that God gave grace. In that grace, the gift to be able to give is given to you. It's a calling. Giving is a calling. That's why you see that anytime you hear about give, we need you to help us financially. You know, there is something inside of you that prompts you, that wells up inside that you should be a part of it. Even out of the little you have, it is because it's a gift of God for you. It's what you are giving as a gift to do in your own lifetime concerning the kingdom of God. So don't be weary. Don't be tired. Because the devil will challenge it. He will confront it. He will try to discourage you. But don't be tired. There's an inheritance waiting for you and I on that day when we shall meet with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You know, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to even be bold to say this to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This 2022, we're in January right now. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Seven months. That's the number of rest. Seven is the number of rest. For the next seven months, for the next seven months in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I need, I want uh, 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 300 people all over the world to send me, to help me with $100 every month. 300 people, 300 men and women to join me in this 2022 with $100 every month. $100 every month in the name of Jesus. I need you to be a part of it. Don't be weary. Don't say, ah, no, no, Apostle, I don't want to do it this year. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. The grace of God is available to you and I to expand. You know, just the other day, myself and my son, we were spending time together, you know, and we were thinking up ideas, you know, of how to move these teachings, you know, further, you know, into those Islamic countries, into Mecca, Saudi Arabia. I want to, we want to, Package it in a way that we can push this message of Jesus Christ into Mecca, you know, to Medina, you know, into Kuwait, into Iran, into that those Islamic countries, into Algeria, Morocco, Somalia, you know, those Islamic countries, even into North Korea. I'm believing God, I'm telling you. But we can do it with money, with finance. I can do it. You know, we've worked, we, we've done a bit of uh, uh, visibility studies. All it takes is money. 
If I have to give somebody money to help to keep making sure the thing is available in Mecca, ah, I will do it. So whether you are in Austria, in Germany, in Holland, in London, Great Britain, or you are in America, you are in Canada, you are in Australia, you are in Turkey, South Africa, whether you are in Kenya, Ghana, wherever you are, I, I am asking you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to come alongside with me, to support me for the next seven months of this 2022 with just $100 every month. You can do it. Let's do it. Join me to do it. I need money. The gospel needs money. Look, the more money I have, <laughs> the more souls I will bring to the bleeding side of Calvary, to the knowledge of Jesus. I don't know how to preach anything else. I don't know how to believe me. I don't know how to. Everybody knows me. Everybody. Everybody knows. You know, another name they call me is the man that preach only Jesus. And I'm very proud to be called that name or by that name. You see? So I need you. You know, look at all these fake prophets everywhere. False teachers. People deceiving people. The reason they are able to enter into people's houses is because they have money to be on television. To push those things. So we, me and many others like me, that have the truth, the real knowledge and teachings of the scripture, of Jesus Christ, we need you. I need you to finance me. I need you. Uh, if you are in Nigeria, you can be part of it. The next six months, I mean seven months, the number of rest, the number of rest in Nigeria, you can give me 50,000 every month, or 100,000 every month, or even it's 20,000 every month. Do it. Be, join me. Be part of it. Stand with me. Let's do it together. Glory be to God. Let's do it. I am very bold because I am dangerously ready this year to push the gospel, to preach this message, to bring the truth of the knowledge of our God to this generation so that by the time you and I die, we would have washed our hand from every man's blood. There, there, there will be nobody's blood that will be on us. No. We would have washed our hands because we would have preached and taught the truth. To this generation. I need you. If you want to be a part of this 300 people to give me $100 every month for the next 7 months of 2022. Or you are in Nigeria, you want to give me 10,000 naira every month. Or 20,000 naira every month. Or 50,000 naira every month. Or 100,000 naira every month. Do it. You can do it. Don't say, oh, where am I going to get it? Just agree to be part of it. Leave the supply to the Lord Jesus. The supply is not your responsibility. He said, my God shall supply. That's what he said. My God shall... He didn't say you. He is the one that does the supply. He will supply. You just be part of it. Make up your mind to be a part of it. You know? And then he will do the rest. The Lord Jesus will do the rest. He, what he's looking for is a willing heart. Just be willing. He will do the rest. He will take care of the rest. Amen. Jesus will take care of the rest. Glory be to God. Now, these 300 of you, I need you in Jesus' name to send me a message on WhatsApp for me to know you are going to be a part of it. Because I need to be praying for you. Because some of you, it's not because you have so much money stored up somewhere. Some of you are going to be taken out of a little to send to us. You know? So I need to join you in prayer as well. So that let me know I have this number of people I ask for. If you are in Canada, I'm talking to you. If you are in America, I'm talking to you. If you are in London, I'm talking to you in, in UK. If you are in Austria, I'm talking to you. In Germany, I'm talking to you. you know, if you are in South, South Africa, I'm talking to you. If you are in Kenya, I'm talking to you. It, wherever you are. You know, a, a lot of Christians do not commit themselves to giving. You know, there is no substitute to giving. No substitute. No substitute. Acts chapter... Uh, the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, verse 35. Even Paul quoted what Jesus said. Acts of the Apostles, put it in King James, chapter 20, verse 35. Paul quoted, quoted what Jesus said. Look at what Paul said. Glory be to God. 
Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Just one verse. Acts 20, 35. Quickly, please. Quickly. This is very important. He said, I have, Paul, this was towards the end of Paul's life. You know, Paul was about to die, be killed, you know. So towards the end of his life, he's now writing to believers. He said, I have showed you all things. How that so laboring you ought to support the weak. And to remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Jesus said to them, he said, the one who is blessed is the one who is doing the giving, not the one who is doing the receiving. So, the one who gives, as far as Jesus is concerned, is the one Jesus is recording as the one that is blessed. You know, in the world, the world says that the one who is collecting, receiving, collecting, kept collecting, is the one that is blessed. No. Jesus said, the one that is doing the giving is the one that is blessed. So I need you to become a giver. Become a giver with me in the work of the gospel. This 2022, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Please write down my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is, you know, for those of you outside of Nigeria as well, is plus 234, you know, they're going to put it on the comment se uh, section so that for you to see, plus 234-803-07-18006, plus 234-807-18006. One eight zero zero six, so that nobody, no fraudster, will send you another number and say it is AVJ's number. My real number, WhatsApp number, is plus two three four eight zero three zero seven one eight zero zero six. You know, I'm sure we'll put it up later, and then we'll type it on the uh, comment uh, com comment. Uh, section in the in on on you on Facebook, all right. You know, okay, look at it. That's it plus two three four eight zero three zero seven one eight zero zero six. You know, so please, I need you to send me a WhatsApp number to just say to me, AVJ Apostle Victor James, I want to be part of these 300 people that will support you for the next seven months of 2022. I want to be part of them. Please do that. And the Lord will bless you for it in the name of Jesus. And then those of you that want to send us offering, you know, regularly, you know, uh, maybe you don't want, you, you want to do it on a low, quiet, uh, you know. If you are in Nigeria, you can use Zenith Bank, 1001-488-167. Or you can use Access Bank, 14333-73574. Or zero, uh, Guarantee Trust Bank, 001 Six eight six four one two one. Now, those of you abroad, you know, whether in Canada, in America, you're in um, outside of Nigeria, in London, UK, wherever, you know, you can use our international platform, uh, giving platform, Guaranteed Trust Bank, and the Swift code is G T B I N G L A. the The dollar account number is zero zero one six. Eight six four one four five. The dollar account number is zero 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 one six eight six four one four five. And the Great British British Pound account number, Great British Pound account number, is zero zero one six eight six four one six nine zero zero one. Six eight six four one six nine. You know, I need you to so, to support me to be a part of it. Let's start from this January. Let's start from this January. I need you. You know, all you my partners, all you that Jesus has put in your heart, the Holy Ghost has put in your heart to finance and to support me financially. I need you to stand with me one more time. Let's do it this year, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you so much. Remember, I need 300 people to give me $100 for 2022.
for the next seven months. And then if you are in Nigeria, you can give, if it's 10,000 every month, 20,000 every month, 50,000 every month, 100,000 every, even if it's a million naira every month, do it for Jesus. I'm telling you, there are people who are sponsoring the gospel and they're not making noise. They're not saying anything. They're on the, you won't even hear their voice. But yet, underneath, on the ground, they are sponsoring the gospel neatly. I thereby ask you, in the name of Jesus Christ, to join me to sponsor the gospel this year, 2022. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because there's a witness in my spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, is touching people all over the world, across Nigeria, all over Nigeria, all over Lagos, everywhere, everybody's hearing me. The Holy Ghost is speaking and touching the heart of people. Father, caused by the Holy Ghost, let there be a willingness, a performance to this willingness of heart for everyone. In the name of Jesus. Thank you as I ask you in Jesus' name for 300 people, men and women, all over the world, men and women, 300 people to stand with me for the next seven months, January to July of 2022, to sponsor and stand with me and finance this gospel that you have given to me to preach and to teach, undiluted, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And I ask in Jesus' name, that everyone that is going to stand, that is made up your mind, that is going to make up your mind, that is going to be a part of it. Father, I ask you to bless them. I ask you to lift them. Bring them to the place that you have in mind for them. That your purpose and counsel may come to pass and be fulfilled in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Please, like I said, use that my WhatsApp number. And send me a message right now. Right now. Even right now. Right now. Send me a message right now on my WhatsApp. I want to hear from you. It will make my heart glad. It will make me really glad. I'll be really, really glad to know that you are willing to support me financially. You know, I'll be very, very glad. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. And I trust the Lord Jesus. By the next time we meet, in Jesus' name, it will be a glorious time again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. All of you, my, my supporters, my financial supporters, my financial helpers in ministry, thank you so much. May the Lord Jesus thank you for me. And you know when Jesus thank you, <laughs> it's a very mighty thing. <laughs> it will affect everything for good for you. I pray that the Lord Jesus thank you on my behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, this is ABJ, Apostle Victor James. Until I see you on the next episode, God bless you in the name of Jesus. I am signing out. Bye-bye.